Hello everyone. Ever wondered why search engines can show rich snippets or rich texts on a particular search engine results pages like reviews or site link extensions or even knowledge graph as a whole? So there are concepts that you can use an an XML sitemap for making sure that a particular web crawler understands what is associated on a particular URL. You can make use of various forms of tags like the alt tags or the h1 tags or the title tags to make sure that search engines understands what a particular page is all about but have you ever wondered what might be the factor which can help search engines to understand the vocabulary behind a particular page or even to understand the context behind a particular page so this can be made possible with the help of schema or commonly known as structured data so today in this episode we will be discussing about structured data or schema now before moving further into this topic let us first understand with some real time presentation on what actually are the types of schemas and some of the briefing associated with each of them as you can see from the screen there are various types of schemas such as article log posting breadcrumbs event faqs how to job posting and as you can see from the screen so let me explain one by one the first one article so the article schema is all about what type of information your particular content have regarding a particular article the second schema blog posting this is a type of a schema which can depict every single parameters when a blog optimization or a proper blogging happens the next schema is breadcrumb this can contain information regarding the breadcrumb navigations or you might can also include the faceted navigations if you are using an e-commerce campaign or if you are using any filters for filtering out your products the next schema is event schema and this can be used by any event management companies or by any landing pages where a event might be happening and this can contain additional pieces of informations regarding a particular event like durations day time and etc then there is faq page and this this is one of the most important schema because with the help of this particular schema one can make sure that a particular website ranks in the people also ask and also this can have a greater chances for ranking in the featured snippet so faq is nothing but frequently asked questions where people can just make use of short questions and answers to educate the search engines on what the page is all about so as goes for how to schema as well which is similar to the faq schema the next one is job posting where this can be used for any job portal based websites or any recruitment based agencies the next one is local business so in short local business and organization and person these three are relatively similar schemas where each of them contains information as the name suggests suppose you are having your own portfolio in that case you can use a person schema suppose you are part of an organization you can use an organization schema or suppose you are running a local brick and mortar startup or a brick and mortar company in that case you can use a local business schema but each of each three of them have equal significance the next one is product and recipe so product and recipe are also equivalent where for any recipe based websites all the recipes can be included and also for any product based websites all the product details and the specifications can be included uh, including label number item numbers selling point mrps and etc the the second last schema is video where if a particular website is having a large number of videos then a proper video schemas can be enhanced and a video schema can be embedded and last but not the least there is a website schema which can contain more pieces of information regarding a particular website so now let us go further and let us understand what is rdfa microdata and json ld because these three are the key aspects of any schemas in order for them to code so starting with rdfa so rdfa basically stands for resource descriptive framework in attributes and this is basically a form of code that can be added to any html or xhtml and xml based document and basically rdfa contains a various amount of data types as you can see from the screen then there is microdata so microdata is a bit upper level of rdfa in which microdata comprises of many item properties and you can literally specify lot of the item properties inside a microdata 
Last but not the least, there is JSON. So in short, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation for Link Documents. And this is also referred to as a lossless microdata or a lossless schema because this can be used as a context. And uh, if you really want to embed multiple schemas into one, then JSON LDs can be used. And in fact, JSON LD is one of the most standardized version of any schema to take place. As you have seen from the presentation on screen that there are various types of schemas which are not limited to on their particular use cases but are mostly used on a wide variety of cases and alongside there are mostly three types of ways by which a schema can be coded namely microdata rdfa and json ld so in short microdata and rdfa schemas were used to used in web 1.0 and also in the previous search engines like yahoo and even uh, like previously when Alexa was there at that time but now I think Alexa have been stopped since 1st of May 2022. So the most commonly used schema markup language for any given website these days is JSON-LD. There are three top reasons behind the same. The first thing is JSON-LD is a lossless structured data which means that if you kind of migrate your website is the data there is uh, lesser chances of your structured data getting lost the second thing is you can embed and you can include a wide range in fact innumerable structured data into a single structured data and last but not the least json ld can comprise and can support a wide variety of schema as seen from schema.org so schema.org is a organization which comprises of millions of structured data that one can use one business owners can use based on their particular business and json ld makes that thing happen and makes really it makes it easier for people to integrate that into a particular website now let us check how one can really generate a particular structured data so Generating of a schema code is really easy. As you can see from the screen, there are various sites like microdata.com. There is there are various sites like schemagenerator.com. And uh, from all of these websites, you can really generate a lot of healthy schemas. But still, it's my advice that if you can code your own schema, that is always the best choice. If you are unsure what would be the code structure, you can always visit schema.org. You can type what type of schema do you require and you can take the code structure from that and then you can do an A-B testing. Now you might be wondering how we can validate the schema, whether that is correct or not, or how you can test if the schema is correct for the using. In that case, you can use two of the available open resources from Google. One is rich snippet testing tool and another one is structured data validator, which are both uh, have been introduced by Google in the late uh, like couple of years back and the most important part is that you can copy paste your entire JSON LD code right there and you can simply validate and if there is any errors warnings or notices that would clearly showcase what type of errors your schema is having so it's always advisable that you can definitely check or validate your schema before implementing because a schema having an error can be disastrous for your campaign rather than not even having a schema now let us understand what are the actual benefits of having a schema so but before diving into that let us make sure that you understand three main concepts the first thing is schema is not actually a ranking factor but rather schema enhances a content by giving it a rich snippet optimization such as feature snippet appearing in the knowledge graph having reviews ratings having uh, rich contexts such as uh, site link extensions author names and so on but the thing is schema itself is not a ranking factor but rather this helps search engines to understand more about the context of your website and this can help search engines to understand how search engines can make the best utilization of your available resources in front of the users now coming back to the topic of benefits of schema now there are a wide benefits of schema as you can see from some of the examples shown on the screen like schemas can help you achieve a knowledge graph schemas can help you achieve a proper site extension schemas can even enhance your search engine result page visibilities with rich contexts and so on now four important key takeaways from this discussion of schema is that the first one is always code your own schema from schema.org and make sure to use json ld because that is the lossless and it can include a wide range of schema variables into your data the second thing schema is nothing but just a pieces of 
extra information is provided to search engines so that search engines can understand the context behind a particular landing page like what is the content is all about who is the author what are the images what are the videos and so on the third thing before implementing any schema make sure you validate your schema from the google's available resources like structured data validator or even rich snippet tools because it's very essential to make sure that your schema is error free before you get that published and last but not the least do not have the misconception that schema is a ranking factor it is not rather this is an extension and this helps search engines to understand your content in a more meaningful way thanks for watching